Hello friends, welcome back. This is Manish Pandey. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to add priority to queue items. I'm going to take data from Excel and then I will apply the priority to queue items. So here we have this priority queue and in this I will add few items and I will show you how to directly apply priority to this queue. Three priorities we have low, normal and high. We have this excel file and I am going to take data from this and I am going to add priority to queue items. So let's say we have few account numbers or few queue items that we are going to add and I want to apply high priority to those transactions, to those items. Then how can we do that? Let me show you. Let me take one read range workbook select that excel file select the seat name so we have currently high seat the name of the seat is high and i'm going to show you how to apply high priority to these items in the queue and remove the range create one data table dt underscore transaction data and we'll take one for each row and then in this one we'll write dt underscore transaction data so this is our data table and from this data table we'll take one by one data and we'll add items to queue so to add items to queue, we'll take here add queue item. This activity will use. And now in this one, we need to pass queue name. So our queue name is, this is the queue name, priority queue. So we'll pass here in the double quotation. Now we need to add the item information. So click one and our item information is the account number so we'll create with the name account number and here we'll write current row it means one by one data will take from this data table so current row open close bracket double quotation this column name this column name we are getting from this excel dot to string click ok so this item will be added to queue and here you can see we have option priority. So what will happen whatever data will get will read from this excel and whatever priority will select here only that priority will be applied to these records. It means first time if you are selecting here normal, normal so for this five records only normal priority will be added. So let's say you have different different data and you know that like you have list of data that you want to process in a high priority. So you can put in a different Excel sheet and if you are using add queue items, so you will take here high priority and based on this you can run that and once you will run that, so all this item will be added and priority will be set as a high priority. But what if you don't have any specific priority for every item you have a different different priority set so how can you do that so that things i'm going to show you later so currently if you know let's say you have a hundred of records and you know that like out of 100 records 10 records that should be set as a high priority 50 records that should be set as a normal priority and 40 records that should be set as a low priority so you have data so you can just put a different different sheet and you can uh, use add items to queue and that data you will read here and then you will set the priority right so this priority currently high now you will read other so let's say here i'm going to read other and this time we are going to read a uh, seat that is normal normal seat and again we'll store in the same 
we'll copy this one again here paste here and this time we are going to change the priority to normal now again we'll do the same thing for low priority so we'll change the seat to low and here we'll select low priority because we have three seats and in these we have different different account number and these account number these transactions should be processed on normal priority these data should be processed on low priority and these should be processed on high priority so these because you know all these things like you have only five records that should be high priority but let's say we have 10 records but you don't want to set, set only high priority you have a let's say this item should be processed as a high priority this should be normal priority this should be low priority this should be normal priority like that so this one also i'm going to show you so what will happen it will read all the excel file one by one it will add items to queue now instead of writing multiple times you have the option you can uh, put all the seats name in one array of a string and then you will call one by one from there and then you can just use only a one read range and seat name will be changed based on the array of a string and then you can use only one right but why i am showing you here three times because just to show you just to explain that otherwise you know that how to do that so this because we are reading that excel sheet and we are setting that this time it should be high priority because here while adding items to queue we don't have option to pass from variable because only we can select here we have the drop down and we can select we don't have other option to take the value from variable and set here let's say if i'm going to write here a priority here and i want to update as a high priority now this should be also high priority high 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 priority this i want to update as a normal priority this should be low priority low 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 so in this case let's say you have this type of data you can take you can read all the data one by one and you can check here if this excel like this column has against this one if this is high so what will happen you will take one if condition if it is high so you will take one more add queue items if it is low so it will go to this one to the next uh, else part and you will you will use one more add items to queue and in that one you will select low so based on that you will use three add items to queue like add queue items and you will choose in a different different first you will choose high then normal and then low so there are options here first you can read different different excel sheets here you will read this one and you will just mark these items as a high priority you will read these files these data and then mark as a normal you will read these excel data and then mark as a low priority but if you have all the data and you have one column or like you have some something let's say you have a column where uh, related to the client name and you know that those clients let's say hdfc bank and hdfc bank is your client and whenever you have uh, hdfc client records that should be processed on high priority so what you will do you will take the data from here data table and you will put here one if condition if client is hdfc so those items should be added as a high priority so you can do like that so here we are not getting variable things so we can like we have the walk around to the do that i can show you so first we can do in this way so let me show you these things let me run that So it shows here, let me see. So we have total 15 records that we have just now, we added to queue. And we have these 
as a normal q lo so it seems like for all these things we have set as a normal here also okay here we selected low in this one we selected as a normal and in this one we selected as a normal okay so two times we selected normal so based on this it will read all the seats and you will select priority and you will add that the other way let's say you have uh, one client name here client name that is sdfc let me just put a name like icic icici now just copy this paste 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 okay so let's say we have these data remove this and i want to process all the sdfc records all the account numbers which belongs to this client hdfc client if this is hdfc client it means that should be processed on a high priority and this icic should be processed on normal priority so what we can do now we'll take seat name as a raw data because our seat name is raw data and we'll read all this data stored here and now one by one we'll take from current row we'll take here if condition if activity if we'll say current row of client name client name equals to double quotation hdfc if your client is hdfc sorry dot to string equals to hdfc then you need to add items to queue with high priority so what we will do we will take add items to queue we will pass our queue name and we will select high priority and in the collection we already have this account number now if so else part if this is not hdfc then what so we have icic also so in the else part we will copy the same thing here and then will change the priority to normal so if this is icic bank or other than hdfc that should be a normal priority like that or if you want to take one more condition so you can take here so only this add items to queue will be applied two three times now let me save this close this and let me go back copy this queue and remove this queue so that I can show you a fresh data. And now let's run this. So what will happen? It will read this data and it will read data from a, a data table and one by one it will check and then store as a high priority and then normal priority like that. So let me run that. So let's refresh that. So here we'll not will see the count it can take some time to refresh that now you can see here we have few items that is with the high priority and few with the normal priority right now the other way delete this complete part only read this excel data and if you know that which item is high priority so if you have column priority you can create a name with the priority and you can put those with the so we have these data now now what we'll do here we'll just take one read range we'll store into our data table and then here from the activities we'll search for bulk add queue items and now we'll pass our data table this one queue name will take from our orchestrator this name that is priority queue copy this go to this enter this queue name and let me close this and let me rephrase this so that I can show you as a phrase so delete this one delete this queue 
and add a new queue so that I can show you the phrase records. Now let me run that and go to view transitions and now you can see here we have priority this column and here you can see we have four items that has a high priority four no uh, low priority and two as a normal priority so by this way you can take data from excel and you can add priority to your queue items based on your requirement so i have shown you multiple way to add priority to queue from excel and in a diff different way also using add queue item and using bulk add queue item so i hope this is useful if so please like this video and please subscribe this channel if you have not subscribed yet thank you so much for watching this video if you want to learn blue prism please visit my youtube channel youtube.com slash blue prism rpa and also if you want to learn blue prism from udemy and you want to get certificate you can search for my blue prism course th there that is blue prism rpa complete course i will also put the link in in my video description you can go through that there thank you